Hey guys, hey Team Forever 20, I hope you're all doing good, I'm also doing great. So guys, before we start today's video, I want to share you something. Our YouTube plug is here, it came a while ago and uh, I did a video on the other channel, on the Rignore Circle, you can go check it out on how we got this. And I just want to show you guys, because... It is all because of you guys we got this yes guys here it is thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much team forever 20 thank you so much for subscribing to this channel for always coming back to watch my videos for liking my videos sorry for that noise okay yeah for liking my videos for sharing for doing all those thank you thank you so much i wish like, i could hug all of you uh by now i know you are around 100 and 140 something subscribers let's get to 200 guys and i'm so much humbled because it's all because of you guys that's why we got this yes and i'm so proud of myself and of you guys because you made this possible you made this possible and i appreciate you guys yeah so let's get to 200 300 400 500 to a million and two million and all that okay yeah May God bless you and continue watching uh, my videos and yeah, get inspired. So, 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 after this, you'll get to watch all the videos according to the title below. Okay, so, see you and thank you. I love you all. So, this is our first video, guys. And uh, as you can see in the title already, we are going to use bucket to transform all these pieces. And this is our first piece. And these are some of the requirements I'm going to use. What I'm applying right now is contact glue. You can get this in any hardware store near your place. Yeah, so I got this uh, from a hardware and the fabric you have seen. I'm going to use the navy blue fabric and the frills. The form which I'm cutting right now is a two inch form. So I'll be doing this to all the buckets which I have. I have six pieces of buckets. So I'm going to do that in all the pieces. Then um, just I will just show you this one piece but I'll continue with the same procedure on the rest of the bucket. So there is no need of me showing you that. This is the only piece I'll be showing you from the scratch. Then the rest I'll just be continuing because... It's just the same process of placing the form. Okay, yeah. So, welcome to this uh, channel. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, I go by the name Christine Nore, and we all go by the name Team Forever 20. If it's your first time, you just bumped into this video. You're so much welcomed. We do DIYs, home makeovers, and in short, interior designing. Yeah. So, oh, you're so much welcomed. Remember or consider subscribing. If this is the type of content you're looking for, subscribe so that you can be part of the family. So, the first form which I'm using, it's a half an inch form to cover that space over there so that it will be equal from the top to the bottom. That's why I have written half an inch to avoid questions and all that and also the small piece on top over there the one i started with it was also half an inch yeah so i'll be doing that to all the buckets to all the buckets guys yeah so if you happen to skip this part and ask on the rest of the video i won't answer that because it it will be so much open that you skipped this part and the second piece which i'm using actually i'm contemplating on where to put it yeah so the second piece of form is one inch one inch piece of form you see i've even written that one for those who don't understand english or won't understand me this language yeah, I think if they read there, they will get to understand what I was trying to say. Yeah, so I'll be repeating the same process to all the buckets. Okay, so up to there, up to this far, I know you have or you are understanding what we're going to do. 
Yeah, so keep watching. And if you feel that this video is going to help you, it's going to be of help. Consider subscribing. Consider giving it a fat thumbs up. And also, leave a sweet comment down below. Okay?
guys uh, as you can see we are on the next piece and I'm just repeating the same process only that this one has a different design that's why that's why you can see the form is kind of half and on the bottom I'll be putting two inch form two pieces of them because I was making this for someone and she requested it for it to be more comfy because she will be sitting on it that's why I decided to do to add another piece of form and guys let me tell you one thing I don't do these things in just one day because I have other things to do or I may start doing a video and something comes up I stop then continue tomorrow and all that so you'll be seeing me in different outfits but doing the same videos because um I decided to do this and uh, so I had to balance everything to make the videos and also do some things else yeah so let's continue yeah so here i'm adding another one inch so that it will be uniform and i guess this is the next day yeah oh my goodness yeah it happens yeah i stopped where i stopped and we are continuing from there guys and this is our second piece i'm going to use this a uh, white fabric it's a thrifted fabric all my all all my pieces which i'm using here or all the pieces which i'll be using in these videos they are second hand materials i just got them from um second hand a uh, shop yeah so i'll be using those because i wanted different colors different textures that's why i went uh, to look for such here yeah, and i'm happy i got what i wanted yeah so here I'm just cutting my pieces, my circular pieces for the bottom and the top. Yeah, then I'll just be cutting the straight piece and I'll go ahead and see this. So guys, if you don't have a sewing machine, don't feel like you, you, won't, you can't do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can hand stitch because I, I did, I have, th there is a video. I think I'll add it in this, in this videos or I'll just pin it. In the comment section or uh, put it in the description box i don't know but i did a sewing process or a hand sewing process of the ottoman i was making an ottoman two of them in fact and i decided to hand sew so that i can show you guys that if you don't have a sewing machine you can still use your hands and there is also a sewing hand machine yeah the smaller one so it's all up to you but don't limit yourself that you can't have these just because you don't have a, a sewing machine as long as as long as you have the glue gun you see this hot glue which i'm using here this is the main thing this is the main tool to use in this project so never mind about the rest of the things just concentrate on if you have this one piece you can do whatever project I'm doing here in this specific video guys not all the videos in this specific video yeah so if you have the hot glue you can do you can do it okay yeah so remember to subscribe remember to give to give this video a fat thumbs up just show your girl some some love by giving the video a thumbs up okay yeah so just watch to the end so that you can get to learn one two three you can get to enjoy whatever I'm doing and if you want to try, you can just go ahead and try. So here, guys, I'm using this um, cord or you can use thread. You can use an, a rope, anything you have. You can use it to pull that because I want to put the the engraving sheet, the gold strap that is. I call it that way because from the place which I usually buy it, they call it that way. Yeah, so I'm... Um, tying that so that it will be easy for me to place the engraving sheet okay yeah so after that i'll be going to the bottom do the same and after that after all this i'll just put the engraving sheet and we will be done with our second piece i hope you are enjoying this video because it took me time it took me some time doing the all the pieces but here we are with the amazing amazing video okay so Enjoy!
for this gorgeous seat guys just check the pinned comment for the link so that you can get to watch and if you are interested you can try it out it's so amazing to our third piece guys this is so much fun doing it yeah it was so much fun doing it i remember this was the first day the first day i actually tried doing so many of these pieces i tried doing so many of them yeah so just watch you will get to see yeah you'll get to see oh where i when i did which one and when i did i did the other one okay by the outfits um yeah so here again we are measuring we and i have cut the bottom piece because we are going to add again the engraving sheet yeah so i'm um, just making this design over here but the process of adding the forms and all that it's just the same process like i told you okay yeah so just keep watching and remember to give the videos a like
guys i hope you are enjoying these ideas which i'm sharing them with you guys so just show this girl some love by giving the video a fat thumbs up and leave a sweet comment down below and don't forget to share to your family and friends okay yeah so that if they're interested they can as well try this out yeah so keep watching The form on top which I have added, they are both 2 inches, 2 inches, which makes it 4. And now I'm going ahead uh, to divide according to the measurements which I want. And the first measurement is I'm dividing the first part a 1 inch because we have the 4 inches of the form on top already. And the rest I'm just going on with 4-4. Four, four. So that I'll have 3 lines in total. Yeah, so please guys, uh, if you have watched up to this far, consider subscribing. If you're new here, I give this video a fat thumbs up to my returning subscribers and also the new ones. And also leave a sweet comment down below and don't forget to share to your family and friends. Yes, so I, I guess I'll just leave you to watch guys because I've done all the explanation uh, since I started. So just watch to the end.
the partitioning of these uh, the spaces which I've put on this uh, my Ottoman over here it will depend with the size of the form you'll be using so with this mine since I use a two inch form I partitioned each at a 5.5 inches yeah so you can decide if you want them to have a smaller partitions you can decide to use less than that if you want them to have bigger you can decide to use bigger than the six uh, uh, than the 5.5 inches which i used there yeah, that's what i was showing you over there and also i'm cutting this uh, fabric so that i can go ahead and stitch everything then come back while it's ready So guys, just to be clear here, okay, my idea was to use a uh, hot glue while I'm um, fixing uh, the fabric in between the foam. Yeah, that was my idea, just to use the hot glue. But after working on two to three of these lines, I didn't like it because it wasn't stretching much the way i wanted it to stretch and also it was a struggle putting my hand in between so i decided to use staple gun as you can see i decided to use staple gun it, it and it it was holding very nicely you can see the difference of a staple gun and hot glue so after using staple i'm using my hot glue to put it in between so that it will hide the pins no one will know that there is there are some staples in there and i went through doing the same so i was i was pulling the top because that's what i wanted the most to pull the top so that it will be much tighter
what's good people i hope you're all doing good again welcome to the number one diy channel in africa and of course it's your girl christine nore over here so in today's video as, as you have seen in the title below we are going to make a chair or a seat whichever name you can call it using a plastic bucket a paint bucket whichever way and this one the process which i'm using up now it's the same process which i used on this picture over here the one on top over here the one which is written see how i transform this paint bucket to make to a makeup or a dining seat yeah it's the same process which i'll be using to make this chair over here so if you're new to this channel kindly consider go going back to that video watch it so that you can get to understand well and make sure you give it a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up too and to my returning subscribers thank you thank you thank you for always coming back i know you will enjoy watching this video the same measurement i used on the other video it's just the same as this one yeah so keep watching to the end and make sure you show some love by giving it a thumbs up leaving a sweet comment down below and also share to your family and friends yes so keep watching to the end and make sure you do that i hope you'll enjoy this one and you're going to try one
hope you are still enjoying this video and if you are kindly consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a sweet comment down below so the whole hope over here was just to give us the shape of this chair the design which i wanted it to be yeah so that's the work of the hula hoop yeah but you can also use a a water pipe if you can you can't get a hula hoop yeah you can just use a water pipe and have that curve because the idea is to get the 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 circular thing not a curve the circular thing yeah that's the idea of using the hula hoop yeah so this process this process the whole of this process is just self-explanatory that's why i'm not explaining anything to you guys because just from watching it you just get to understand everything 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 so i um, make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to give it a fat thumbs up and leave a sweet comment down below so here i'll be using my fabric the same fabric which is over there at the bottom yeah the gray one so i'll be using that one that's why I, I, i've just placed it inside out so that i can pin everything together so that for it to just fit perfectly after stitching i'm pinning everything together in one place then go ahead and stitch it i'm using i'm i'm pinning the the front part and the back part yeah don't be surprised at what am i pinning as you can see over here it's the back part i've just placed it over there and the front part i've just placed them together inside out then stitch them and that's how it looks but the the back part is kind of a it's a plain gray and the one which is in in the front part it has some kind of some stripe or what can we call them yeah those ones but they're kind of different here yeah, as you can see that's how the back looks and the front looks that way yeah i hope up to this far you are enjoying watching this video and if you do guys consider giving it a fat thumbs up leave a sweet comment down below share to your family and friends yeah, so that they can also give it a try if they want something unique, something cool like this. Because, by the way, I got an inspiration of this um, design from an Instagram page. Yeah, I I think if I can get it in my gallery, I'll link it somewhere here. If I don't get it, but I just got it from an Instagram page. Then I decided to bring out the idea because I loved, loved, loved this seat from the from the time i just saw it in that page i just i was like what can i use to make this thing not a thing this seat and finally i decided to use a hula hoop and just a paint bucket and here we are having a very nice and unique seats i guess i'm just making a lot of seats because if i see a good idea for you which i know it will help one or two of you guys i just feel like trying it out because i know someone is going to like it and they're going to try it yeah that's the whole point of me trying different ideas of seats and all that and all the diys which i make in this channel so show some love to your girl by giving this all my videos not only this giving all my my videos a fat thumbs up and guys if you haven't checked on all things with us kindly go and check on them they they are also on youtube as all things on, with us go check on them subscribe to their channel yes and tell them that christine sent you there yeah, so i'll just uh, for the rest of this part i'll just be using hot glue yeah, I'll just be using hot glue to stick everything down here. I wanted to stitch, but it was so, so hard for me to stitch. Yeah, because I said I'll be stitching instead of using hot glue. But uh, finally, I ended up using hot glue because uh, stitching was very, very hard for me. Yeah, I couldn't stitch the whole of this thing. Yeah, so, and that's how it looks. It's very comfortable, very comfortable. And that's the final look guys i hope you have enjoyed watching this video to this end and if you have watched up to this far mwah, mwah, 
kisses and hugs to you thank you thank you so much for your support for watching the ads for watching this video to this far for giving it a thumbs up for commenting down below you are amazing and i love you so much and also you can check out our couple channel if you want to see the other side of christine our couple channel at the rick norris circle the rick norris circle yeah go there subscribe like watch our videos and get to know the other side of christine apart from the diys until next time hugs and kisses from christine bye bye